The news is beginning to strike home. Greece is a sinking ship, its prime minister says, and needs help from Europe and the IMF. There's 45 billion euros on offer. But Greeks like Theodoros Petros are increasingly angry. The situation and their government. His business has already been hit hard by new tobacco taxes. I think that they lied to us from, from the beginning. I cannot believe that six months ago they were saying we have the money but we don't use them and now we discover that we don't have a penny. I don't know what the future is going to bring. Support for Prime Minister George Papandreou is slipping and a new poll says 65 percent of Greeks think the government should reject any demands for new pay or pension cuts. They're unlikely to have much choice. Last week, Greece's budget deficit was revised upwards to 13.6 percent. Its debt was downgraded further and its 10-year borrowing costs spiked to 8.8 percent. All that sent the euro to its lowest level against the dollar in almost a year. This government now uh, may, may feel humiliated, but at the same time, uh, it has a huge opportunity um, to, um, uh, to make the economy more, uh, more competitive. Don't forget that it, it has more than three and a half years ahead, so it can produce results uh, before the next elections. But the specter of popular dissent weighs heavily here. Papandreou says Greece is on a new odyssey, but he has to take his people with him. The Greek government needs this aid urgently and is hoping all the parties can agree quickly to the details of the package. But there are growing fears that the promised assistance won't be enough. Whatever happens, it's going to be a long and difficult road ahead. Nicolitano, Bloomberg News, Athens.